This is Weenie TV, the official shortcut to both pain and pleasure. My name is Arto, and this cute little creature here is Ilka. But Ilka, can you introduce our guest? Yes, we have a very lovely guest from the fatherland, Germany. Uh, a superstar, actually. Uh, the wine rose Angelina Jolie, Stephanie Durin. <laughs> right? Right? No. Did that tell you right? <laughs> Why don't you uh, tell uh, who you are and what you do at the moment? Okay, my name is Stephanie Durin, and my hobbies are... Reading, um, uh, drinking wine. <laughs> drinking wine. <laughs> no, I'm um, I'm just doing um, actually Vini TV in Germany, which called not Vini TV because you know they guys have the rights of this name, yeah. so we call it TV No. And uh, you do it with uh, Hendrik Thoma. We do it with Hendrik Thoma. Yeah, he's the a notorious. The notorious. Yeah. The notorious. The notoriously good looking. <laughs> yeah. Hendrik. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but before we get into the wine and what you do at the moment. You have a, a long history in one, actually, and you've been working in quite a few places. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I just started in hospitality, like in hotels and stuff, because I love hotels, and it's great Who to, doesn't love hotels? to uh, just step into this door and you're in another world. So I've done my um, apprenticeship, and um, there was a guy, uh, he was like 70 years old, the boss of this uh, hotel, and mm -hmm. he was in this wine cellar all the time, and I was like, okay, what the fuck? Freak. He's just in the wine cellar all the time. I mean, what is he doing you know, there? Exactly. And then I just joined him a few days and uh, yeah, it was kind of a mystery, this kind of wine. And I just read about wines and I just started drinking and um, so yes, I um, came you into were hooked. this. <laughs> I was hooked. Have you been working around the globe? Uh, yes. With Ilka actually in some place in South Africa so? Yeah, I was in London for um, working as a sommelier. And, and who were you working with? Uh, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. You, Gordon who? Gordon who? You might know it, I don't know, maybe. So yeah, after London, after five years London, I uh, just went to South Africa to do harvest and uh, to, to learn how to make wine and then I met... Uh, so, Erica. was it harder to work for Gordon or for me? With me? <laughs> for me, for, <laughs> for, me. <laughs> for me. There's a small difference, <laughs> I think. Well, I, it, yeah, pain is part of the pleasure. Okay. But anyways, yeah, we met in South Africa and actually yes. that's a nice... Uh, Hook to that first wine that we have. We were mm. working in French Rick. For you, working mostly in, uh, in sommelier and restaurants, what kind of experience was it to actually see the, the other end of the production? Yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, I always had respect um, for a bottle of wine, but um, this time South Africa gave me even more respect because wine is just like, um, it's so much work, there's so much um, pleasure, like emotions, and really hard work. I mean, from the grape into the bottle, it just takes a while and uh, there are a few people involved and they're spending like hours in the cellar. Um, yeah, just so much like, I mean, I respect every bottle of good made wine. So would you, so say, would you say it's easier to drink wine than make it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is no, this the most simple I'm question sure. ever? <laughs> At least for you it is. <laughs> no, I think you should respect, you should show respect to, 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 to every bottle of wine which is good made. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because it's hard work. But you're you know? actually, uh, I don't know, anything. Uh, <laughs> but you're actually studying f uh, to become a master sommelier. Yes, yes, yes. Um, which is quite a it's quite rare, rare breed of uh, wine people. It's even yes, rarer yes, than master master of wine. Yeah, really? exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's yeah, like master of wine, there are few, I think. Yeah, master sommelier is just a bit different. So it's more like, um, yeah, tasting and um, but spirits, cigars, like sake, you have to know the whole... Cigars? So, so, so is it diff more difficult than a master of wine because you have to know water, cigars, spirits, yeah, and, like it's, all these things? I wouldn't say, I, I don't know, yeah, maybe it's, some people say it's more difficult because you, you really have to taste wines, you have to know the spirits and, and all this shit. And, and is it like know, a German institution or British? No, it's British-American. British-American, yeah. okay. Cool. So, let's taste the first wine. This is a pork barn rich uh, Viognier Crenache Blanc. From South Africa, French Hick. And can you can you pronounce the, the name of your estate correctly? Bukenot Kloof. Bukenot Kloof. Bukenot Kloof. Or BHK as we <laughs> cool kids call it. <laughs> and a little bit to chances as well. Thank you. <laughs> you met chances uh, before, right? Yeah, in, in she came, Germany. She came to the Mosa Valley. Yeah? yeah. And, and yeah, she was yeah, in the show. Janice was actually visiting Tevino, I think. Yeah, yeah the show. it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> this is, she brought the bottle of uh, Kosken Korva, the, the booze from Finland. Oh, really? Which you, which you actually tasted. I tasted just, it and it was really nice. Like quite yeah, a connoisseur drink. <laughs> it was four o'clock at night and after a few bottles of wine, so okay. we had a shot of And actually, Henrik called us yesterday and he said that he never tasted it, but in and fact, he tasted it. He tasted it. Henrik 
take your head out of your butt, <laughs> man. Was he, he just drunk? forgot? Was he drunk? No, it was quite early in the morning after he went to Yeah, early, like <laughs> four o'clock. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's have a smell this wine. This was Vionier and uh, something. Yeah, yeah Crenache Blanc and, uh, from 2008. It's actually, we don't get it in Germany um, because this is, I think, very rare because Vionier and the Crenache don't have so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember we were drinking this in South Africa when we had like um, free time. Mm -hmm. But it was. <laughs> We were drinking in South Africa. <laughs> nice full body style. It reminds what do you me think? A bit, it reminds me a bit of uh, Chenard Blanc from South Africa. It has this full body, full this style. Mm. It's sort of heavy, heavy on the palate, and I, I, I love it. Just, just in a Finnish point of view, the, the price, I, I think it, it's actually at least in the, the main alcohol you can find this, uh, this wine. Uh, it's from 12 euros, which is. It's a bargain. It's, it's a bargain. It's beautiful. It's very creamy as well, no? Yeah. It's kind of. Is it uh, made in uh, oak? Yeah. And malolactic Some probably? parts, some kind of long, yeah. But just to make it clear, uh, you guys weren't making this vintage. No, it was no. 2009. So avoid 2009. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Phew. Good. But it's, I like it. I really like it. It's beautiful. So it's, it's, in, it's we have a tradition that we sometimes forget to do. But we have a tradition that we show like thumbs up, up sideways, down. What do you think of this one? Where do you go? Up. Yeah. Uh, which, the recommendation comes a bit close because you know <laughs> we were working there. But. Your BS, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you liked it. Uh, I really love this sort of uh, wine, and we really should get more of this style of wine in Finland also. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like full bodied and fresh, mm. and at the same time, it's just it's, it's heavy nice. but fresh on the yeah. palate, and I think that's something that is uh, hard to achieve. I so, think it's good two thumbs up. Wine as well, eh? You know, some fish and stuff, you know. Yeah. Maybe with uh, chicken or something. Perhaps. So this is your first time in Finland, right? Yes, yes. So how, how was the trip so far? Oh, it was amazing, really. I arrived on Friday and uh, I had so much fun. I um, just went to a bar, they had carpet on the table. And William we were, K. <laughs> the carpet on the table was <laughs> amazing. We were drinking, um, yeah, Finnish cider, Fisu. Finnish beer. Fisu. I have to ask you one thing. Um, I've actually heard that you, you crashed your Irka space during your visit, but you've actually slept on the yes. Fa yeah. couch. Famous yeah, yeah, couch. Yeah, How was it? it was I've always wondered yeah, if yeah. it's good. I slept very well. I slept like a baby. It was it's, it's reserved for the superstar. <laughs> the yeah. one superstar. Only the honorary guests can sleep but your couch. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you took apart quite a you know old tradition in Porvo. Yes, yes, it was. Fantastic it was family. a crayfish uh, dinner party, you know, the traditional where we sing and drink aqua beats. You, you enjoyed it or was it a bit weird? No, it was perfect. It was really amazing. Um, I never had this, I have done this before. Um, I mean, just drinking schnapps before you actually eat and then drinking like a Swedish uh, drinking song and... Um, it's killing your palate, both of them. <laughs> yeah. the crayfish was delicious. I really, um, just thinking of... Um, it was, a bit, uh, it was a bit comical to watch you <laughs> oh, Come on, you know, after three, I just <laughs> I did very well, I think. No, like, he, I'm sure you did. She was a pro, she was a pro. <laughs> but should we continue? Yeah. So, to us, Steph, you're sort of an ambassador of uh, German wine. <laughs> so we have a special bottle for you. And this is really something, something truly amazing. So we have the German Happy Cat. <laughs> The deformed cat wine <laughs> from Mosul. It's probably the cheapest wine in Argos selection, I think. No, 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 it's not even cheap. This leaf from Well, pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. So how much is it then? It's like 80 euros, which eight is cheap euros, yeah. in Finnish terms. Eight? It's a fucking expensive country. But don't bash it before you taste it. You know? Yeah, I, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. There's <laughs> actually... There's actually do the work. There, there's Do the honor, please. There's actually people collecting these bottles because I think they come in different colors. Yeah. So there's people like you know collecting. There was black cats and the blue one. But I bought the blue one since black cats are for, meant to be like. But it's uh, the same one. Black so woman. They're called happy cat as well. The black cat. Yeah. Okay. It's always happy. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah, happy cat is a very German name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. From Mosul, you know, happy cat. <laughs> 
you know, it's, it's funny that um, in Germany, I mean, I, I used to live in England and I uh, went to the supermarkets and I, I just found this kind of Liebromig and you don't find this in Germany actually. Really? Yeah, they, they make it there and then they just... Oh, they have a cork. Yeah, no, it's not plastic or screw cap, it's quality. But it, I think it's a shame that we just uh, sent it to Finland. I mean, what does <laughs> Finnish people think about German wines? Well, so. And uh, we have You're to do bashing it all day. We have to get taste. And we do it warm because, well, <laughs> that's the way it's made. Yeah. I mean, if you taste wine, you should wow. drink it not too cold. It looks so cool, you know, with the face and the, you know, the wine inside. <laughs> okay, I'm then. very anxious to taste this. So what's your take? It's got a bit of CO2 as well. It's got a... You know, it's a bit, you know, Vino Verde style of... <laughs> my fizzy. Fizzy, fizzy, fizzy pop. Fizzy cat. Fizzy cat. So well, what, I, I sort of get this okay. muscle style from this wine. Sort of. Yeah. You smell any cat in it? <laughs> not a happy one. <laughs> but it's not, it's not intense, no? It's, it's very like, it's, it it's made like water with like some grape juice kind of... I don't yeah. really get wine flavors. You say that's like a bad thing. No. There's supposed there's some uh, residual sugar in it. Probably. Yeah, it's it's coming net actually. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, it, I don't get any smell. I mean, I don't get anything on the nose. So, ah. as a future master sommelier, how would you? We are really good hosts. Yeah, always the best wines on table. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure there's a lot of people like, oh, I want to go as a guest to you know, drink all these good wines. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, nothing special. I mean, don't get No, it's so buy. cute. No. I was kind of hoping it would be even decent. You know, I'm, I'm very fair to the wines, but it's just, um, it's, it's kind of sweet taste. It's fizzy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, not, it's got no length. Sweet and fizzy. Good. It's got no, Check, as, good. Mm. no acidity at all. A bit of watery? A bit watery and no aftertaste, so you don't really um, taste wine after you, you just spit it out and you just drunk it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the revenge of the uh, happy cat. But it's nice to have true professionals in the building. We have to do the fun business for this wine as well. Steph, please do the up, no. sideways or down. <laughs> Down definitely, and I, I think it's. Um, I feel sorry for the German uh, wine industry too. Oh, to, me too. <laughs> to send this to Finland. I mean, what does people I'm think about us? I feel sorry for you. I pity you. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the good stuff. We have Trimbach and Hugel and uh, okay. well, Trimbach. No, <laughs> it's, it's from France. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Anymore. the only that's the only one from Germany. So. The best German wine in Finland is Come on, that says something. Hey, Arnold used to be part of Germany. A couple of times, at no, least. Who so. knows if it's German? Maybe we get it back once yeah, well, yeah. But we, yeah. well, yeah, I have to also. Uh, I, I, I come with this. But the bottle is, is thumbs up. <laughs> it's, it's a happy, happy happy. It's a happy. We like happy, <laughs> always. But yeah, South Africa takes the, this much easier. Yeah, yeah. South yeah. Africa. Surprisingly, <laughs> takes, the, takes the fall. But, anyways, uh, before we quit, uh, do you have some message uh, from from an actual wine country to the cold Nordic Finland, which is the coolest part, literally the coolest part in Europe? Uh, yes, maybe um, believe the guys, <laughs> believe what they're saying, just watch Vini TV. Um, Open your eyes when you wine. It sounds like we're holding a gun. To this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, I think it's very important because people think uh, people go into Alco, into supermarkets, and they stay in front of like wines and they have no idea. I mean, you don't need to be a wine um, nerd to to drink wine. So just um, go for the people who knows about wine. So in Finland, it's Ilka and Arthur and Jensis and Jensis, and uh, just believe them and just um, be open-minded, drink new wines, and uh, don't. Uh, Go for like the big names. That's my message. Yeah, cool. That's a good message. So we will continue here drinking uh, happy no. cats. <laughs> so at this moment, I'd like to say thank you and sorry. And <laughs> next time, something maybe a bit more classic. Probably. <laughs> Until next time, bye.